The Chieftain was the British Army's main battle tank for over 20 years. It's the tank I started my army career on, but because we never took it into combat, and because it never matched the export success of its predecessor, the Centurion, it doesn't get the recognition it deserves. I'm going to put that right in this video. Five cool things about the Chieftain tank. The Chieftain's L11 A5 120mm rifle gun holds the world record for the longest recorded tank kill. Admittedly, this was on a Challenger 1 in 1991. However, the gun is exactly the same as this one that was developed for Chieftain. It also used two-part ammunition, which separated the propellant from the round. This reduced the size and the weight of the ammunition and did away with the inconvenience of a used shell rolling around in the turret after firing. A lot is said about the L60 Leyland engine, and not much of it complimentary. Yes, it broke down a lot, but it was ahead of its time. It was designed to be multi-fuel and run off diesel, petrol or aviation fuel. This would have been very helpful in wartime when logistics are stretched. It was also designed with the engine and cooling system in a single unit or pack, which meant that if the engine failed, it could be easily disconnected, lifted out and replaced with a new one in under two hours. The Chieftain prioritised firepower and protection over mobility. So whilst it was rather heavy and a little slow, it was well protected, especially with the addition of steel brew. The armour was far thicker than any of its contemporaries or adversaries, with Leopards, M60, T62 or T72 being, on paper at least, far less robust. That said, there is a serious question as to how effective the Chieftain's armour would have been if hit by a depleted uranium APFSDS round fired by T72, reminding us that all tanks are vulnerable to enemy fire. Unlike most tanks where the driver sits in an upright position, the Chieftain driver is in a recumbent position. In other words, he's lying down. The reason for this is down to the design philosophy of the Chieftain tank, which is to make a very low profile. There is no doubt that the driver's seat is the best seat in the house. Well, in terms of comfort anyway. Everyone knows the Brits love tea, including our tank designers. This is the boiling vessel. It allows the crews to boil water while shut down in the tank. It was first used in the Centurion and is still in service today in the modern Challenger 2. Whilst it is not unique to the Chieftain, I'm including it in this list because I can personally attest to its importance. The simple addition massively improves the comfort of the crew by giving us the opportunity to have hot food and a hot drink during those many tedious hours on operations. And a happy tank crew is a much bigger threat to the enemy than a cold, miserable one. Hopefully now you'll look a little differently at the Chieftain tank. A tank that is very dear to my heart, having served on them for many years. Until next time, take care. If you were captivated by the five cool things about the Chieftain tank, don't miss the chance to command one yourself in World of Tanks. Get your own Chieftain Proto and discover the thrill of commanding this revolutionary vehicle first hand.